Hey everyone, this is Tim from your 6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix if your PlayStation sign-in has failed on your PS5. So the first thing you want to check is to see if PlayStation Network is down for maintenance. Most of the time, this is going to be the issue where you simply just have to wait. So we can go to Network right here and then go to where it says View PlayStation Network Status. And make sure you're signed in at the top. If you're not connected to your uh, wireless network or you're not connected to the internet, go ahead and just reset that by unplugging it from the wallet, plugging it back in. But if there is an issue with PlayStation Network, it doesn't say signed in, uh, there is an issue with that and it's probably down. So just go to view PlayStation Network status on the bottom. Scroll on down through this screen right here and it'll tell you if one of these things are down on the left. So it says all services are up and running. So you might get an issue where it says maybe gaming and social is down or something like that, or maybe the PlayStation Store, or maybe something is not loading your friends list. So you could try that out. Now, another thing that you can do if you notice you're not connecting the internet or something like that, go to settings and then go to where it says set up internet connection. And then just go to your currently connected Wi-Fi and press options on it and just forget it and re-add it. So go to forget right here and re-add it. Otherwise, scan for networks and reconnect to a different network. Now, if you have the option, uh, go to five gigahertz right here and select this on your PlayStation 5 instead of 2.4. A lot of times with my 2.4 gigahertz connection, it seems like it's always dropping. So if you switch to five gigahertz or the option for six, if you have that at your house, uh, go ahead and just connect to as much quicker, more reliable connection. And once you connect to that and you forget it and reconnect, uh, you can press options on it now and go to advanced settings on the top. And then go on down to where it says DNS settings and go to manual and just type this in for the primary DNS 8.8.8.8. And then for the secondary DNS, type in 8.8.4.4. And then go to OK. And it'll connect to the access point and see if this fixes your issue on your PlayStation. A lot of times it actually will, and you'll be able to reconnect again. Otherwise, we can back out under this menu. And we can simply just do a test internet connection right here. And sometimes this will just kick you offline. And then when it's finishing, it'll bring you back online. And just that quick little reset actually helps out and fixes your connection. So you'll be able to see your download speed and your upload speed too, to see if everything is working on your end. If it's uh, a lot different than how it normally is, we'll go ahead and reset the router at your house once again and maybe that'll fix the issue, or maybe you're a little bit further away from the Wi-Fi router all of a sudden, or there's an issue with your connection. So just wait for that, and sometimes it takes a while on your PlayStation to check it. So you can just wait a few seconds, and you'll get the download speed. So mine should be around like 85 to 95, something like that. So it's at 83, so that's fine. Doesn't seem like that's uh, too much different. Now we can back out of here, and uh, what we want to do is go on over to settings and go to users and count and then go to other. And we could try signing out of our PlayStation and then just simply signing back in. So you don't have to remove your account. Just get your email address and password or if you got the phone app, just hit approve when it pops up on the screen and then sign back in or go to council sharing offline. If you haven't already enabled this, go ahead and make sure you enable this on your account. So you can play your games offline. If something does happen, you can still play your PlayStation. Otherwise, you're going to get a giant lock screen by your games. So look at that as an option. Also, go on over to power and go to turn off. And just leave your PlayStation off for like 5 to 10 minutes. And maybe unplug it from the wallet. And then plug it back in and just do a quick uh, reset of everything on there. Reset your PlayStation. Reset your network. Reset your TV and then plug everything back in and see if that works. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If did, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.